The governorship candidates of the All Progressives Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP in warm embrace at a recent peace parley in Port Arcot River State in a show of support for violence-free elections. But all that appears to have gone in flames. No thanks to the recent violence in Okrika that disrupted the APC rally, resulting in one death and many injured, including our senior correspondent, Charles Eruka. Some of the attackers who have been looting the property of the people providing the public address systems now surrounded me and tried to take my phone away from me on the suspicion that I was actually calling reinforcements to come pick them up. So in this scuffle, I got stabbed in the neck. The APC governorship candidate, Mr. Daku Kupita side points accusing fingers at a PDP member of the River State House of Assembly. Several eyewitnesses saw a member of the State House of Assembly accompanied by men in police uniform and several other non-uniformed armed men, numbering in excess of 50 around the venue. He was seen personally directing the shooting. The man accused of masterminding the attack says he's innocent. How can that cuckoo? Can he prove? Did he have the clip where I led the boys into the arena? Or is he trying to score a cheap political point? Or is he looking for a political uh, uh, sympathy? I don't understand. How can I, as my person, I have not done that, and there's no way I would do such. The police command in the state is also in the mix. The commissioner of police tells us that the corporates will not escape the arm of the law. I want to show the good people of this country that the police are resolute and determined to ensure that we will go into the root cause of what has happened. We will not fear anybody that is responsible for whatever, but the law does not respect anybody. There are fears that there may be more trouble in the days ahead unless the political tension in the state is brought under control and steps taken to calm frayed nerves.